What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to give you an exclusive sneak peek of a conversation I had with my guy Max over on Edu, that's our coach's platform. And what we're talking about is should we really be chasing muscle growth? If you're an athlete, if you're a hooper, if you're trying to jump higher, run faster, should we be chasing muscle growth or is it gonna slow you down? The whole theme of our entire discussion is this hypertrophy muscle growth should come as a byproduct of us trying to chase performance gains so if we're ditching the bodybuilder type training and we're just trying to build strength and power and you're eating enough calories the muscle growth is going to come as a byproduct now if you do desperately need to build more muscle to just be physical on the court or on the field then we advise really slow progressions let's get straight to the discussion with max be sure to hit me with a thumbs up and comment below below. Let's get it. Slow progression is okay. When it comes to hypertrophy, I'm much more comfortable with really slow progression than I am big transformations. So like if you didn't want to take our advice of looking at performance and having hypertrophy come as the byproduct and you're like, Nah, I really need it now. He needs to put on 15 pounds this off season. So we're gonna go more of a bodybuilding style. Well, I agree that the bodybuilding style might lead to some faster hypertrophy. And I think fast hypertrophy gains almost always slow you down. Even if they're in the right areas, it's in the right muscle groups. I think fast hypertrophy slows you down. You don't give your body long enough to live with that new hypertrophy. So it's like if I gain just a little bit, if I gain one pound, a month or if i gain a half a pound a month i get to live with that half a pound i get to move i get to perform my skill with that extra half a pound before i go put on my next half a pound and so when you live in that body you start to get all the neurological connections and this new muscle mass this new hardware is now pairing with the software instead of me just being like here's five pounds of muscle let's see what you do with it i think that decreases performance and it significantly increases the risk of injury. So someone might ask, well, what if my coach, my head coach wants to have the athletes to look a certain way? I had a strength coach come up with an interesting solution, basically working with wrestlers and they were like, well, we they need to look a certain way. He's like, well, I don't want to sacrifice their power. And so what he did was he was like, well, what muscles make you look jacked? So he did a lot of shrugs and side raises and like some tricep extensions. And they're like, well, it's not gonna get in the way of the lower body. It's going to give the appearance of being jacked. We're not going to actually put on that much muscle mass. It's not going to affect their weight cut, but it'll give them a good look. So if I can just give them bigger trap, the coach would think they got hypertrophied. Yeah. And that's the look they want. But ultimately, it's not actually going to reduce their ability to perform. Yeah. So.